Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here. My name is Ben. I go by the amateur call sign K0BJJ and you're watching Spider Jutting. And this is my little one who's going to be playing in the backyard. As promised. Thank you. We have a review over our home NCOM system. And I'm going to be reading the tech specs off of this script. So uh, we'll have a lot of distractions around here. So please excuse the uh, extra, extra noise. But for my family, we went with the NXGKET FRS radio system. Now some specs on those. They say up to three miles. I'm going to give you my input through testing here. There's 22 FRS channels, 121 privacy codes. They're five volt. They're water resistance, 1200 milliamp hour battery. And I did confirm that I pulled the battery out of one of these. They have a 2.5 millimeter earphone jack, which I have not tested because they're FRS radios. I don't really go with the um, use the earbuds on them. And they are micro USB charging. Now, from my experience with these, as the red one falls down, we were able to get about a mile coverage with these. I did have my oldest son go out and trudge around the uh, neighborhood on his bike and we were doing radio checks. As you can see, we got a four color pack so that way everyone in my family has a color assigned to them and this is mine, I am yellow. So we got about a mile range out of it. That being said, I am at the bottom of a hill. I do have a tower set up at my house to get some elevation, but even with the tower, I still am not, my, my antenna is still not even with the basement of my neighbors up the hill. So we are in a very low spot. So the fact that I've got a mile out of these, I was shocked. But this is exactly what we wanted for our family MCOM kit. So my MCOM situation is basically if there's a fire, break-in, whatever. My family sleeps on two separate floors. Everyone has a radio. If something happens, they grab their radio. We're able to escape from the house and get to safety. Or if I'm at work and I have kids at home or kids at uh, school, we are able to communicate through a natural disaster. So these little FRS radios work, ex work extremely well for that. Typically what they're used for is I'm hanging out in the hammock out here and my little one's got his uh, in the house or vice versa. And we're just talking short range in and out of the house, which they work phenomenal for that. Now the price range on these, I think I paid about 60 bucks. I'm gonna link an Amazon link down in the description below. It's not affiliated, so I don't get any kickback from that. But that's where I found these. I think they are a good solution for your family, especially if your family does not wanna get ham certified. I would prefer to have HTs and VHF, UHF capability. But my whole family, especially because you saw my little one. Come here over here, buddy. This little, guy, this little guy right here. Look at that camera, bud. This little guy right here is not ready to take the technician's test. Though he loves to talk on the radio. Don't you? Talk, 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 talk. Yes. So that's my thoughts. That's my review about this. These are great little camping radios. If your family does not want to get uh, ham licensed. They only put out about a watt. They say they got a low and high power. I couldn't. I don't have a test to test what low and high power is. I'm guessing low power is half a watt and the high power is a full watt. So, thank you all for watching. If you haven't, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank these amazing supporters who help make this channel content what it is. Thank you all and have a great day.